Praise Allah. Today we are going to see how is your confident level? Because as a Christian, we should have a good confidence in the God, not the confidence on ourselves, on our ability. So today we are going to see how is your confident level. For that, we'll take the position, portion, um, Psalms 20, 7 to 8. Some trust in the chariots um, and, and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees um, and falls, um, but we rise up and stand uh, confirm. So today, let us see that uh, how there are from this verse, it is very clear. There are two types of confidence, true confidence and false confidence. What about the true confidence? Um, from from uh, Habakkuk um, chapter uh, chapter 3, uh, we are going to see what is the true confidence. Um, Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19 says, um, though the fig tree does not bud and the, there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crops fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stall, yet I will uh, rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God my Savior. And the, the sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to trend on the height. Um, so it is very clear. There is nothing to uh, live in this. Uh, nothing he have to live. Everything was vanished but still he is telling. He is having the strength in the whole, whole sovereign Lord. How he got this confident? Uh, let us see that. Um, for that, what we have to see is that um, uh, uh, um, uh, when Habakkuk started his book, um, he was down in the valley, wrestling with the will of the God. Then he climbed higher and stood on the watchtower, waiting for God to reply. After hearing God's word and seeing God's glory, he became like a deer, bounding confidently on the mountain high. So that's why he changes. Uh, before he was in the valley, crying and fighting with the God and the, God's will. Now he became like a deer. A deer um, Confidently, he got the confidently uh, standing on the uh, like a bear on the mountain high. His circumstance had not changed, but he has changed. Now he was walking by faith instead of sight. He was living by promise, not explanation, because he is asking so many explanation to the God in the first two chapters. Like Habakkuk, we must honestly talk to God. How we how we Habakkuk got this true confidence? Let let us see how we got it. Because like Habakkuk, we must talk uh, to God about our difficult situation. Then we must pray. We must meditate and second thing we must meditate on the God's word and we must be willing to experience fear and trembling as the Lord revealed himself to us certainly he'll reveal to us but it will be worth them as we reach a new summit of faith and discover our opportunities for growth and survive. So what took Habakkuk from the valley to the summit? What took Habakkuk from asking the explanation of true of a false confidence to the true confidence? The same spiritual discipline can take us there also. The three disciplines are there. First one is the prayer, vision and the faith. If you have these three things certainly you will have this um, true confidence. What about the false confidence? Let us see that in Genesis chapter 11 verse 4. Genesis chapter 11 verse 4 says um, Genesis chapter 11 uh, verse 4 says that um, um, then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. Who said this? Um, uh, the people who lived in the uh, who lived in uh, who lived in, in the uh, Nimro, the valley, they say like that, why it has happened to them? What was the uh, problem? The problem was that um, in the book of Genesis, from ch chapter 1 to 11, four events are mentioned. In each and every event, people did mistake, but God uh, forgave them and gave a way to come out of that mistake. First of all, Adam and Eve sinned, but God clothed them and promised to send the world a redeemer who is Jesus Christ. Coin killed Abel, but God sent Seth to carry on the godly lion. The Sethites then intermarried with the godless Kainites, and God has to wipe the clean, yet the clean with the flood, but Noah and his family believed of God's word and were spared. After the flood, the descendants of Noah of three sons repopulated the earth, but the new beginning with Noah eventually led to one of the most arrogant revolt against God's recorded anywhere in the scripture. They wanted to build a city for themselves, and they want to stay in the, near one place, and that is a place called Nimrod, and they build a tower and call them the Babel. The people have several things in their favor in the Babel. They were truly a united nation, one people speaking one language, in using one vocabulary and dictionary, they were motivated by one spirit of pride and one compelling desire to make a name for themselves. So they were motivated by spirit of uh, pride and moreover compelled a desire to make a name for themselves. So they are going to have the confidence on the themselves. Um, and uh, the only thing missing was the approval of God. The structure of the city was called Babel, which means the gate of God. Um, the word Babel sounds like a Hebrew word, Babal, which means confusion because of God's judgment. God came down and make a confusion among them 
them and uh, the language was totally changed so because of god's judgment the gate of god's became the door of confusion instead of making a name for themselves god gave the project a new name which is the door of confusion so if you have the wrong confidence certainly it lead to the door of confusion so let us see in your life uh, what lead leads to the uh, wrong or false confidence um, five things are leading to the uh, false confidence uh, first one is trusting in riches um, second one is trusting in oneself ourselves uh, then third one is trusting in human fourth one is trusting in worldly success uh, fifth one is ignoring god's uh, providence um, in the case of riches um, even though if you have riches you can also rely on god how to do that first timothy 6:17 says command those who are rich in the present world not to be arrogant not to put their hope in wealth which is so uncertain but to put their hope in god who richly provide us with everything for our enjoyment so we have to put the hope in the god who gave everything for us not on the wealth and the money that is um, the, if you if you rely on the riches then it's a wrong faith um, if you rely on the god who gave all these riches there is a correct uh, and a true faith um, next is trusting in yourself um, matthew 26 33 35 says um, when uh, peter was going to be tested by devil uh, 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 jesus christ prayed for him then he said to peter peter said to him even if anyone if devil has uh, uh, want uh, permission for me to uh, to test you but um, once you will become strengthened then you strengthen your brother that what jesus christ said but peter said to him even if everyone else abandon you i never will that's what he defer depend upon is his confidence jesus replied to him peter i can guarantee this truth before an a roaster crows tonight you will say three times that you will don't that you don't know me peter told him even if i have to die with you i will never say that i don't know you all the other disciples said the same thing so uh, the, the, this was not happened as jesus revealed peter denied jesus christ before the roaster crows for three times so because Because this happened because he relied on the trusting on his own strength and so don't do like this and be uh, 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 tested by satan and be failure in this testing be victorious in this testing by by not believing on yourself but believing on god um, third one is trusting in them human that's what the jeremiah 17 5 says um, the curse is the person who trusts human who makes flesh and blood his strength and who's to how to turn away from the lord so don't be a cursed person of believe of trusting in human but be a blessed person of believing on god and trusting on god the third fourth one is um, uh, trusting in the worldly success there was a man who has a, a great field and he got a great uh, harvest at that time he told that uh, i want to build a new barn and i want to make a bigger one and i want to grain uh, store grain for myself and he was very happy he was easy and he told his uh, his soul be happy eat and merry drink be happy but the god said to him you fool this very night your life will be demanded from you then who will get what you have prepared for yourself um, so this is how it will be for who are store up things for themselves but it is not rich towards god so if you dip, depend upon the, the worldly success um, and store up things only for yourself uh, then that is a wrong faith um, that is a false faith instead of that uh, be rich towards god that is going to be true or uh, uh, true confidence um, so these are the five reasons um, that um, uh, would make us to rely on the um, make us to take the wrong um, so uh, false confidence so uh, let us not trust in the riches let us not trust in ourselves let us not trust in human let us not trust in the worldly success uh, and let us not ignore god's providence instead of that um, let us um, uh, trust in the god let us trust not in our strength uh, let us trust in the hope god and be uh, blessed um, let us not uh, trust in the worldly success but in the success in the god let us not ignore god's providence and uh, depend upon the god's providence and do the true and follow the true confidence i'll pray for you thank you lord thank you for revealing that we should not rely on the false confidence holy spirit help us to rely on the true confidence in the name of jesus amen god bless you